the strength of india is it is pluralistic culture and the tolerance towards each other because what exactly maybe sometimes media exaggerates but kind of reports which come to us from europe is that they are quite very disturbing reports what we come up what we what we come about and in that sense the europe has much much to learn from india of the coexistence how religions how cultures can coexist and you will be having more and more uh, this uh, migrants coming to europe settling there you will be having lots of lots and many many problem problems now and for that you need to learn from the east how they have coexisted for last several several centuries this is the kind of thing which india can offer you number 2 is india's youth population by 2030 i think the uh, uh, india india is the country of south asia will be the a region where it will be having the largest asset that is the youth population the population which can work in factories which can work in industries which can work in your offices because uh, europe japan everything there uh, the the population is aging they will not be able to work by 2000 200 200 2030 but this uh, population for india it is born as well as a ban born in the sense india will be having a huge young population to offer to other countries but ban in the sense in terms of if uh, economic downslide in terms of uh, when uh, the unemployment it could create a political instability in south asia so i think that it is for the european countries right now at this point of time to take some crucial decision and to help india to engage its youth population which is going to come after 23 after 15 years 20 years